Okay, so what we're going to do on this guitar is this is a very well played and very well loved guitar that has just seen better days. It's uh, Customer uh, Street Musicians uh, Samic, as a matter of fact. I can see immediately that it's going to need some new frets and it's going to need a bit of an overhaul. New nut as well, so we're going to give this one the works. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go put it in the machine right now and we're going to scan it through and see what kind of results we get. So in you go. Okay, so we are just about ready to pull the frets on this guitar, this poor thing. Look at how, let's see if I can get a focus in on this. Well, you have to take my word, they're very, very dented. But, it's going to come back to life. So now we're rescanning the instrument. And we're going to plane the fingerboard. Now you may notice that we've taken the strings off of the guitar and it's just rechecking to make sure of the difference of the uh, curvature of the neck. Of course, there's some string tension difference. Now, after it's read everything, let's see over here. Calculating its data. And now the spindle starts up and starts carving the fingerboard. Now it's going to do many passes, so we're going to revisit this in a moment and see exactly where this is going to end up. Alright, so what we've done here is we have taken off all the frets, we put new frets on, and let me give you a look over here, see brand new shiny frets, and you might notice we have a nut blank at the top of the guitar. Now what I'm going to do is, the virtual fret dress is done, I'm going to hit continue, and we're going to watch the magic happen. Alright, so now the guitar is strapped into place, you can see the two metal straps here, and um, that, whatever that is. And it's all nice and tight in the uh, machine. And you can even see, try to get a better focus on this, that is a nut blank ready to be cut on the guitar. So the moment we close this door, and away she goes. And now, as you can see, it is gently dressing the frets with that spinning blade. And we're almost done with this. In just a moment, it is going to start carving the nut for the guitar. Now, it's finished dressing the frets, but the machine likes to make sure that it's done a good job, so it always does a rescan after it does the fret dressing. Check it out. Isn't that cool? And we are ready. Here we go. You can see the nice little milling bit there working its way around the nut. And back and forth. It's going to have like 71 passes on this before it's finished. It's going to be a little while, so we're going to revisit back when it's done. And so we're on the final stage of the nut right now. And as you can see, it is carving brand new slots for the strings. And these are going to be absolutely perfect. Okay, and now we've strung the instrument back up. We're going to put her back in the machine. And it's going to go in for one final scan just to make sure that everything went all right. Then we're going to finish her off. See? There it goes. So now what we're doing is this is finalization of the frets because although the machine does a beautiful job of fret dressing, it doesn't really do the ends of it. And this is where a skilled luthier, or in my case just me, comes in handy and just finishes off the rest of it. So we'll show you a couple of the final stages of the fret polishing and after that we're going to let the player play his guitar for the very first time. Now I like to take with the fret crowning file, just go over the frets with a fine grid of sandpaper, just to 
make it all uniform because although it is you know, very, uh, what was it? it's a very high precision machine. It still leaves the odd little bit of a tool mark, so I'd like to sand them out of there to give it that nice glossy feel. And now, the last thing I like to do, take some good old-fashioned buffing compound and just give the frets that extra little shine that they've been waiting for. Gosh. And you can even see just how much yeah. material comes off of that. But it really makes the frets have that buttery feel about them. They, the fingers just gloss right over them afterwards. It's a really nice last little touch that I love to throw in. That's beautiful. Look at that, eh? What a difference. See, actually, I can see the grain. Yeah. That's incredible. I couldn't see that before. <laughs> well, yeah, it's back to uh, it's back to a decent radius too. It's amazing. Now that everything is all polished up, it's just a matter of putting the strings back on the instrument. And just a final tune-up. And now one final thing I like to do is just to make sure that every fret has worked out well, so I do this quick little final test. I thought that one buzzed a little bit. Yeah, it was good. It was just my imagination. Wow, it's good volume now. Wow. Yeah, let's stretch that. Yeah, it's got some volume, eh? Wow. Yeah, like I told you, once a guitar is in alignment, it sings. Yeah, no, I agree with you. That's for sure. That's for sure. And you'll. I, I found when it was cold, really cold, that's when it sang the best. Really? Yeah, it was really weird. Just love the cold weather. Yeah. And you do when you, when it came into a perfect zen state, mm -hmm. it's just the way it felt. Thumbs up all the way, my friend. Nice. All the Yay. way. Amazing. That is amazing. Truly amazing. I haven't heard that without a capo on for years. That's just amazing. Beautiful, my friend. You you struck a home run with me. 
thank you so much. Really fantastic. That's <laughs> too much. Yay. Even the paint and all. <laughs> Amazing. I'm so impressed. Beautiful. I'm really thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. It's perfection. Well, thank really. you for letting me do that. That is so awesome, Bruce. I'm, I'm really, really thrilled to death. That's awesome. Wow. Made me happy. Yes.